All right. Good afternoon. Jeremy Marquez here with J Marketing, power prospecting, coaching and training and consulting for real estate agents, brokers, assistants, teams. Uh, I'm here uh, doing a, a live live video. We're doing a, a live uh, coaching call here uh, with Tommy Quinn. Tommy Quinn is with a Coldwell Banker in Petaluma, California, which is like the North Bay area. Um, and it's a really nice part of the state. Anyhow, recap with Tommy. Uh, him and I came in contact a few months ago. Uh, he found me through some of my call, my cold calling uh, sessions that I do. And at first, he was just kind of watching what I do and watching my videos. And this is before he even started cold calling himself. And he had been in the business a couple of months before we came into contact and doing different types of strategies like Facebook ads, different type of social stuff, working with his channel partners, trying to create referral relationships, and really hadn't um, considered uh, prospecting and cold calling as a way to be able to take control of his business and to get things going. Um, fast forward a little bit, Tommy has now uh, is now utilizing the, the Red X Vortex uh, dialing platform, uh, working expired leads, for sale by owner leads, and geo leads. And him and I engaged in my, pro, my, my my coaching program about a month and a half about a month and a half ago. So he's now a member of the Power Prospecting program, which is where I teach you guys from setup to to from taking a cold lead to an appointment, and then from there you do your thing and take these appointments into listings, and you know that, that's that's your end of things. But um, so to recap again. You know, before before Tommy and I were working together, you know, there's different reasons why he just didn't want to, you know, make cold calls. And then I've showed him through my calling and just through, through working with him that it actually can be fun. And it's really one of the best ways as a newer realtor to be able to create business for yourself when you don't have a large database. Um, and so we're about a month, month and a half in. And uh, just this last weekend, uh, Tommy had actually converted his first listing that started with a cold call he made and did some follow-up and he ended up getting some get, getting this an actual listing um, on, on active on the MLS now so that's awesome so Tommy how's everything going buddy everything's going good man so, uh, I'm finally starting to see the the work I'm putting in for cold calling and it's not just cold calling you know like it's a lot goes into it in the sidelines where after I run a session, I write down all the in addresses of interest where, like, maybe their date told me, yeah, you know, we're waiting until after springtime. We had a bad experience with the realtor. It was a rough time, so we need to take a little bit of time to regroup. You know, uh, I no matter what, try to at least get their email so then I can crank them into my CRM, you know, sending them seasonal postcards, uh, monthly newsletters, and uh, so that in the future – they're going to have the, my postcards, emails, and, you know, things they can hold and see and touch. But in the future, when they think of a realtor, hopefully they think of me. And I send them a thank you card as well with my business card in it. So it's like they get follow-up from three different sources instead of callbacks right away. And I'm finally starting to see the couple months of work that I've been putting in on the dialer starting to kind of come back my way. And I luckily got this guy at 912 Emerald Hills um, for just a cold call. So ho hold on before we get to that. So you're using Red X. What are you subscribed to with Red X? Uh, Red X I'm subscribed to for sale by owners, GOE expired, and today I just got the, the three-way dialer. Okay, okay. And realistically, how much time are you spending cold calling daily? Um, daily, usually, you know, before I got this listing, because, you know, I had to do a lot of paperwork and follow up, yada, 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 but usually it's about, you know, I try to get to at least 150 dials. Uh, you know, I know you want me at 200, but 150 dials, especially now I'm having longer conversations with people, it'll take me close to three hours. Okay. Okay, so your your objective isn't necessarily the time; it's the amount of dials you're putting in daily. You're trying to get to that 150 mark in just however much time it takes. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'll tell you what—you know—you're going to be able to bump those numbers up, 
now that you have the triple line dialer, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but now that you have the triple line dialer, and once you start to use it more, you're going to be able to get to that 150 a lot quicker than you were before um, once you start to learn how to use it best, but that's fine. Um, so you guys heard it. He, he just threw an address out there. Um, recently, this last weekend, he got a, he got his first listing. Um, so let's talk about how that first started. I'm looking at the lead right now. It looks like your activity uh, shows that you first called them. So this looks like it was an off-market listing. Um, it was on the market for 80 days or so bef before um, it came off the market. And uh, let's see what else I see here. It looks like it was listed for 565. And uh, let's see what else I see here. Um, yeah, they took it off the market. And so re re tell us, walk us through it. You gave them a call on November 6th. And tell us about that call. And we'll, li we'll listen to that call here. It looks like it was only two minutes. Yeah, it was a very short call. Um, it was to the point, you know, I called him and uh, started just kind of getting to know, you know, trying to feel for what happened. And he basically, he basically invited me over to come to his house. And, uh, you know, it was one of these cases where I tried to get his email and he said he doesn't do an email. Uh, so kind of, he's really old school. So we're doing everything right now. You know, all the disclosures and forms in person which is okay, that's fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, then we went and did our presentation uh, that following Sunday, uh, went off without a hitch. He was a you know, little backstory. I was a butcher for two years, and he ended up being a butcher. Tommy the so, Tommy the Butcher, huh? Yeah, I was a butcher for a little while. I was a meat cutter, and he was a meat cutter too, so we kind of kicked it off right there, and I believe that that was pretty much, because he was kind of timid, he really... He had a bad experience with his last realtor, so he was really timid and kind of standoffish towards us. And once uh, he started talking about the butcher shop, I kind of found that as an opportunity for, for us to find a connection with each other and uh, be, 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 the Before we talk about what happened after the call, let's listen to the call real quick, all right? Sure. Give me one second here. Tommy Quinn with Cobalt Banker Realty. How are you doing today? All right. Good, man. Look, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm calling about your property on Emerald Hills Circle in Fairfield. All right. Uh, you know, I see you guys have it on the market for, you know, around... Real smooth. I like it. Okay. 80 days. I'm just curious if you guys are still trying to get it sold. Um, yeah, but uh, right, not right now. I'm getting the house cleaned up and, and uh, moving all the furniture out. So it's going to be about a week or so. It's going to be about a week or so. Are you guys working with a realtor already? No, not yet. Okay, well, you know, I sure would like the opportunity to work with you if the time comes. Uh, you know, just quickly, what happened while it was on the market? You know, did you guys get any offers on it? Straight into the point. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, but I, 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 it was just a, wasn't a bad, it wasn't a good deal with the agent. You guys had a kind of a bad experience with the past agent? Yeah. Yeah. That's silly. Well, you know, regardless of what you experience, some of us are actually good at what we do, you know, and I'd like the opportunity. I like that. Regardless of what you experience, some of us are actually good at what we do. That's confidence, Tommy. You wouldn't talk like that. You, you wouldn't have talked like that a month before be, before this call, buddy. No, I would have already given up. I like to see, and the, and, and the the fact that you uh, you know you just kind of you heard what he said. You you you, uh, you you said, oh, you're working with an agent. Oh, it was a bad experience. You know, you re reiterate what they say, and then you keep you kind of deflected, and you just keep going. And, that, and that's what you're doing. Good job opportunity to restore your faith in real estate agents um right. you know well you want, you want to come by uh, sometime you know we can talk a little bit yeah look well, here's my thought you know i might be able to stop by the home one day quickly and you know i can just share you some new information that would cause your home to actually sell because you're not going to do anything unless it makes sense right 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 good you know and i can pop by and uh, take a look at the home make some recommendations and from there you could have some information to use and if you ever decide to sell, you know, here in the new church, in your future, uh, then uh -huh. you, can you can decide what makes the most sense because, you know, you're not going to do anything unless it makes sense. And I work with a guy who, uh, he's got about 20 plus years experience in the business and okay. I'm, I'm a little bit younger. So we bring, you know, a little bit of both of the demographics to the table and, you know, we're quite aggressive and, you know, we'll get you the most money for your house. How's that sound? Okay. Okay. How, how Sunday? How about Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, cool, man. What time Sunday are you thinking? Sunday around noon be fine. Sunday around noon. You got it, man. And what's a, what's a good email for you just to have on record? Uh, I don't have an email. Good. 
You don't have an email? Okay, so is this, uh, is this your cell phone, a landline? Yeah, this is my cell phone. Cell phone. So All right. reach me here. And okay, you're gonna, on this number, yeah. On this number, and uh, we'll meet you at 912 Emerald Hill Circle at noon? Yeah, perfect. All right, and your name is David? So here's what's awesome, guys. Tommy called this guy on the 6th, so that would have been a, uh, a Friday. He, he gave him the appointment for Sunday, which was the 8th, two days later. And so Tommy spent just over two minutes on this call. And he, during that call, he was able to get the appointment. He got it locked in. He did everything right there on that call. And on Sunday, he went there. How much time did you spend there on Sunday? And tell me about how that went. Uh, we spent about an hour. We walked in. We sat down. You know, on the way up, me and my colleague kind of game plan how we were going to do things. Uh, and we sat down. We just kind of had a conversation with him for the first 20 minutes. You know, where are you from? Uh, what's your motivation to sell? How long have you lived here for? You know, we, we felt we didn't want to just jump right into the presentation because he had already had a bad experience with a realtor. We wanted to get personal with him. And, you know, like I said, we found out that he, he said he was a butcher, so I jumped on that opportunity, kind of opened up, we were laughing, you know, talking about the butcher shop and cracking jokes, and then uh, I slipped in my presentation, basically showed him, you know, our marketing strategy, our step-by-step guide we used to get houses sold, um, and what his house was worth, and what we think we would be selling at market value. Uh, everything sounded great, and... He basically told us, okay, we're going to move, you know, i got to move some more things out of the house, and then you guys can get in here and take pictures, and we had everything done, plus the listing agreement signed, ready to go in an hour, and we're gone in an hour. That's awesome, man. So you want to track all of this just for your first listing, bro, because... Um, you want you want because at the end of the day, this is going to be your one. This is going to be your first listing. This is something you're going to remember for the rest of your career. And yeah. yes, this call itself was only a couple of minutes. Yes, the appointment was only an hour. But you've been putting in work. You've been putting in a lot of work and a lot of hours. And this is the results that you're you're getting. And so. Uh, the fact is, guys, when you get into real estate, this isn't this isn't easy. You take it, you know. There's simple stuff, but it's not easy. You have to put in the work, and you have to do it daily and consistently in order to get results like this. Yes, he walked in and got the appointment on that first call, but a lot of times that's not the case. A lot of times it takes follow up. A lot it takes time, and then and every now and then you're gonna get a listing like this that just comes out of nowhere. But unless Tommy was putting in the work daily. And being consistent, unless he was, if he wasn't doing that, he never would have found this listing. Somebody else would have got that listing, guaranteed. And the, the, the you know, the, the the way you got that listing is by just being on the dialer and just be, have through getting better over the last couple of weeks before that. And so, right on, man. I'm very, I'm very happy for you. Um, when is that listing going to be active on the MLS if it's not already? It will be active tomorrow. Okay. Let's talk about how you can utilize your listing now. Have you pulled geo leads around that listing? Uh, I have not yet. We have, we're waiting for, so we, we're going Friday to take pictures. Uh, it'll be active on MLS tomorrow, but we'll have pictures on it on Friday. And once we get pictures and everything going, like once it's an actual listing, because I don't want to call people. Uh, geo lead them, let them know we listed their property, and then all of a sudden they look at the property and there's nothing on it. I feel like that just would be bad first time exposure. But uh, yeah, I should I should jump on those geo leads and at least get them loaded into my Red X so it's ready to go when the uh, when I do my geo lead calls. Is there going to be an open house? No open houses, appointment only. Okay, so. Geo leads definitely pull that list as soon as it goes active you want to be doing those just listed calls and yes you're making those just listed calls not only to yeah you want you're trying to find a buyer but that's not really the main objective for those just listed calls those just listed calls yeah. is you're establishing a relationship for, from the neighbors in that area because you will be able to get a few listings uh, through the just listed calls and then when it sells the just sold calls St stats show two to three on that same street will be ready to list as soon as that property sells and they're going to list with you or one of your competitors and by you getting ahead of it and creating relationships with the with the neighbors it's the same thing as old school door knocking instead of door knocking you're just making these calls 
and you're yeah. establishing a relationship as the go-to realtor in that area now if somebody wants to list. So you want to be able to create relationships with the rest of the homeowners in that neighborhood. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes perfect sense, actually. I didn't even, that didn't even cross my mind, really. And that's exactly, that's how you want to be utilizing these geo leads. And that's a great thing about Red X is the geo lead data is really on point. And, and you're not, you're going to be, you're not, they're not like an expired or for sale by owner where everybody's calling, you know, you, you know, you know, geo leads, like they're more conversationable. They're, they're going to talk to you more. Um, yeah. And so you want to take, basically take ownership and just own that area, own that territory and really talk to as many homeowners in that neighborhood and establish relationships for them. And maybe if they're not going to list uh, now in a year, two years, five years, whatever, you want to establish that relationship because after you make that call, they're going to start watching that property. They're going to see, oh, it's sold in a week. It's sold in two weeks, whatever. They're going to see that and then they're going to remember your name. And then when they're ready to sell a property or if somebody they know is looking to do something real estate related, you're going to be fresh on their mind. That's true. That's true. So, uh, at some point the next day or so, you should have those geo leads set up, um, and work that into your, your daily calling on top of your other uh, targets that you're calling. But this is your listing, man. And so, that list, you know, you have an opportunity to get a lot of listings in that neighborhood now, now that you have this first listing. And and, and, and the result is going to be based off of, because most likely that property is going to sell fairly quickly. And so after it sells, then you have, oh, you know, we, we listed the property on uh, November 20th and it sold on November 26th. Then you're calling the neighborhood, letting everybody know, you know, this is what happened. Is there anything we can do to help you type thing? Yeah, I like that. And, and so now just now instead of doing just listed, just sold calls around your colleagues' listings because you didn't have any, now these are your listings. And it's, it's, it's getting more real now than it was a month ago. Definitely. Then i got to utilize everything I can, you know, because we can't do the open houses. So, you know, we're living in a new world of real estate. And really the, most, the best utilization is uh, the phone. Exactly, dude. And that's why you got to leverage this technology and, and and I'm glad you uh, you upped it to I think we're gonna I'm gonna save to, uh, walking through the uh, the triple line dialer with you until the next call because I want us to be able to really walk through it and do a screen share so that way we're on the same page because I want to be able to show you because that's in my campaigns when I use Red X I rarely use the single line dialer I'm always using the triple line and uh, that would be that's a whole other subject right there to be able to you'll be able to take that 150 dials up to two 300 even if not more on a on a daily basis in the same amount of time wow yeah, that's, that's what i'm definitely working for and then you know you're, you'll you'll have you'll be able to call the new stuff you'll be able to call the old stuff you're going to touch a lot more and it's just going to push your 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 strut your reach out there further and at the end of the day it's just going to be more dials more conversations, more leads that you create to nurture, which will be more appointments, which at the end of the day is going to be more listings and then more commissions. Mm. But That's the truth, man. It all, it, it all starts it all starts with dials, man. It all starts with dials. Anything specifically, let's talk about this real quick before I let you go. Anything specifically that you're hearing over and over again that you just can't overcome right now? Well, my first thought is is this. Whoever is that, whoever that is saying that, that's not somebody you want to do business with anyways. Definitely. So, what that does is that falls that falls into my category of you got to go through the no's to get to the yeses. So, you're just moving those guys out of the way and you just keep going. Okay. Okay. Because yeah, you're right. I will... if, some, if somebody's okay. saying that initially, there's the conversation's over already, you know? And you know, you may call them back a day later or a week later, and it might be a different situation. But that's the great thing about these type of leads, expireds, FISBOs, and geo leads, is we have so many brand new ones every day. And so you don't have to waste time on people like that because there's plenty of people that do want to talk to you, plenty of people that will talk to you. And so if you let those type of people 
uh, you know, get to you or affect or make you think that all the calls are going to be like that, you're not going to find those nice people like Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, like David there. Um, you know, you'll never find those folks. You just got to keep pushing, bro. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you, and you are. And one main thing that I want to point out here is because you're going to start getting busy. You're, as you get better, you're going to have more appointments and you're going to have more listings. But remember, and we talked about this a little bit before, the reason why you're getting busy and the reason why you're going to have these appointments and the reason why you're getting these listings and you're getting, your, your business is growing is because you're putting in the work with the dialer. And so the, yeah. key, the key thing is, and yes, it's going to be hard, and I know you're a family man and you got that as well, but you, you just got to stay disciplined and keep your foundation, which is the cold calling, because you, you don't want to get to a point in two weeks where you're going to be like, oh, wait, I don't have anything. I don't have, any, I don't have any leads to follow up with. I don't have any appointments because you weren't putting in the dials. Very true. Very true. And I don't want you to have to learn the hard way because I've seen it. And that's why I'm here to be able to help you avoid stuff that I've seen already. And so if you just stay consistent with your dials um, daily and just, you know, make sure you put in the work, you're never going to have that. So those days you're going to be like, well, what am I supposed to do? You know, like, I, I, okay, obviously you just call more, but if you just stay in front of it, you won't have that issue in a week, two weeks, in a month, you know? Definitely. Yeah, no, just gotta stick with the dollar, man. Keep dialing on to the next, no yep. matter what. Yep. All right. Absolutely. Well, Tommy, uh, I know I know you got the you got your you got your child with you, and uh, you got some stuff going on. Um, I do I do appreciate you taking a little bit of time. Let's schedule a call um, to go to to do a screen share and and really dig into that triple line dialer. I really would like to schedule a call with you to where we're in a we're in a hangout and um, you're making dials and I'm right there with you and we talk about calls in between and maybe things you could do better. Okay. Or things that, that you continue good. doing, like we'll just okay, you make a call, we pause, and then like, hey, well, why don't you try this next time? Kind of like we're in the same room and we're just doing like a little bit of a training. Yeah. And then also I will do I, I we can do the same like I can make some calls with my campaigns and you can just kind of kind of like shadowing, you know, like oh, this is how Jeremy maneuvers through Red X. This is how he says this and you just kind of sit and watch so we can do it both ways. Definitely. It sounds good to me, man. It'd be a new way, uh, you know, we haven't done that before, so that'd be that'd be great. Well, you, you know, there's 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 more and more that we can do as you're getting better and as you're going to start getting more busy. There's like more stuff to talk about that we weren't talk about a month ago because you just weren't there yet, you know. Um, yeah. But but you're getting there, and and the reason why you're getting better every day, man, and the reason why you're starting to see a success is because you're putting in the work. And so for all the realtors that are watching out there and assistants that are watching this right now, guys, you got to put in the work. It has to be consistent. You have to be able to, and it's not even you have to. You get to do this because you know you get to sit. You know you get to make this stuff happen. You get to be able to create your worth. At the end of the day, in this business, you're gonna get what you put in. And if you're not putting anything in, you're not gonna get anything out. And so I want, I want, I want you guys to be able to succeed and get better. And so if you're willing to put in the work, I can help you guys get to that next level. Uh, Tommy, I do appreciate the time. We'll talk off of this a little bit later. Um, I'm going to let you go for now, and I'm going to continue this uh, live session. Thank you for joining us. If you want to if you want to put a plug in uh, on your for your website or your social media, go ahead and talk to the people. Yeah, great. Uh, so, you know, I think Jeremy already touched on this. Uh, you know, I, my real estate office is based uh, out of Sonoma County. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 707-338-9052 or visit my website at tommyquinn.bbintouch.com. Right on, Tommy. And guys, you can trust Tommy with your referrals. Tommy will take care of your clients. And I put that, I put a trademark on it. If you have any clients looking to uh, buy or sell in, in his market, send them to Tommy. He be, he'll, he'll definitely take care of them. Tommy, have a good day, bro. Take care. All right, you too. Thanks, man. Bye. All right, guys. Well, that's Tommy Quinn. He started a little while ago, about a month and a half, two months ago. W was scared about even picking up the phone. Now he's dialing daily, creating appointments, taking listings. That's what it's all about, guys. All right, guys. I'm Jeremy Marquez with J Marketing, Power Prospecting. There's a link, or you can send me a message if you want to get information about training. And training day starts today, guys. Let's go.